Sigma Tiger News all up in your grill with the hottest, juiciest beef online. What do we got today? Pride Month, yes. We all know this is the month no one wants to leave their house. Pride versus Palestine. Didn't really see that one coming. And transmenstruation. <laughs> Welcome back. You're here with the big Sig Tig. We missed yesterday. The in-laws came for a surprise visit. And guess what? I had to entertain. And uh, just like today, we're going to entertain you with Pride Month. What the heck is it? Uh, let's find out. Let's go ahead and dive right into exactly what is going on in June. And when you are able to be out and loud and free, happiness is all there can be. It is a absolutely wonderful, wonderful time. There's so much love, so much acceptance. We have a bunch of different vendors, food trucks, live music, live drag shows. It's literally the best event of your calendar year, so you need to come check it out. Oh man, there's like, there's not a lot of places that you can go and um, dress up like this. It's, it's just like a really safe space and it's, just so much fun here and just see so many like-minded people it's it's amazing i think when people have to suppress their feelings it really hurts their soul don't let anyone bully you into telling your story your your story is yours to tell the highs the lows everything in between is yours and nobody should be able to push you either way all right all right all right enough of that all right so here's the deal um these people are uh, indulging in uh, the lowest common base level desire, your sexuality. And that's what they've identified with. Their whole entire identity is based off of their sexual behavior. And uh, it's, it's tragic to see. Uh, but anyway, that's what they're promoting uh, for the entire month of June. So stay tuned. Uh, what else do we have? This radical trans LGBTQ activist who pushed for safe spaces for LGBTQ people was just charged for killing his husband with a samurai sword. You can't make this up. All right, well, let's, let's tune in. For the last three years, we've had what we call an access tent, which is basically is a safe space for the LGBT community. At five, people with disabilities primarily, but for anybody who suffers from stress, mental health issues, then it come it's a safe space. If people have incidents supplied, they can come and report them into our safe space. Okay, so he provides a safe space for everyone except for his husband, who apparently he had a disagreement with and went ahead and uh, killed, murdered, attacked with a samurai sword. So we did a story there a couple of weeks ago uh, in Germany. They had a daycare with uh, this exploration room where the kids could go in, as long as the kids were no more than two years in age difference, and they could explore each other's bodies. What the f are you talking about? So this is the leftist ideology, people. Just accept everyone for their psychotic behavior. And here's another one. Boy wins medals in Hawaii girls track and field, awarded outstanding athlete. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, two boys have sparked a heated debate across Hawaii after competing in and winning multiple girls track and field competitions. Lana Hoff and Frankie Lynn Mochilio were permitted to compete in the Kale High School girls track team because they identify as girls. And they just roasted the competition. So he was uh, like high up in the rankings as a, a male. It would have been 564 fifth in the state for the boys if he hadn't switched to the girls team and now he is number two wow uh unbelievable so this is happening all over the country we don't really need to get into it but it is sad and uh, i feel terrible for all the girls that are involved in sports right now having to deal with these individuals who are obviously uh have terrible parents and a terrible mental capacity to get through life and uh yeah they're probably going to end up in this parade 
But guess what? Philadelphia, what the heck is going on? Palestine, Free Palestine meets Pride Parade. Yikes. All right, so there you have it. Uh, this is the gay uh, competitive sports uh, forum. Basically, like this is what they're latching on to. Um, they've latched on to Palestine, free Palestine, but Palestine's a Muslim state and they hate homosexuality, LGBTQ+, IA, two-spirit, whatever. They hate it. You would never be able to get away with this over there. They would literally eliminate you. So uh, when eventually white people and Latinos and all the people in the West... Asians slowly stop having children. We're at like 1.5 now, not enough to keep the race alive. Muslims are just popping kids out like crazy. So the cellophate will take over and this will be the first group they eliminate 100%, mark my words. All right, what else we got going on? Okay, let's just have a closer look. More pride. Yeah, okay, so you got the the Pride versus Palestine. They are literally running into each other on the same street. So what does it say? Far left pro-Gaza protesters have blocked the Philly Pride march in an attempt to shut it down. In prior years, BLM extremists did the same and made demands that law enforcement not be allowed to protect the event attendees or march. So we have massive culture war going on in Philadelphia. What the heck? And of course... When it pops off is when the sun goes down. So what happened uh, shortly after all of this in the evening? Let's tune in. So you can see they're wiling out there in uh, Philadelphia, absolutely insane as pro-Palestinian protesters block the LGBT marchers. Uh, but LGBT, you know, they stand with Palestine, so I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> anyway, 15 charge and latest child predator operation in Moresley PD's history. All right, so what's going on here? A uh, bunch of creeps. Operation Artemis, 15 men have been charged for internet crimes against children as part of Operation Artemis, Mooresville police announced on Friday. The operation ran from May 28th to May 30th, just two days, and involved multiple local, county, state, and federal agencies. To date, Mooresville police said these arrests mark the biggest child predator operation in the department's history. Preparation for this week's operation began uh, before May 28th. 24 and involves 19 agencies, 65 personnel. Suspects range from 25 to 78 and came from as far as away as uh, Gretna, Virginia, authorities say. Queen City News is tracking the crime in your area. Yeah. Suspects used online platforms including chat app, Discord, Doublelist, Facebook, FetLife, Grinder, mega personal ads, skip the games, and sniffies to solicit minors. Police said the operation saved the lives of countless children. Absolutely saved them from massive amounts of trauma. Please uh, be aware of what your kids are doing online because there's tons of creeps out there. Took them two days to lock down 19 in that place. Well, uh, maybe we should bring in a little bit more strictness. Uh, Madagascar, following along with Nigeria just from a few years ago, allowing surgical castration of pedophiles. I mean, uh, some places in the U.S., they allow for chemical castration. They'll give them puberty blockers, basically, to prevent them from uh, producing uh, sexual desire is the, the, the desired outcome. Well, activists say the new law is a necessary deterrent against the country's rape culture. 
All right, what the heck is going on in Madagascar? A little island off the coast of Africa. Madagascar's parliament has passed a law allowing the chemical and surgical castration of people found guilty of raping minors. Human rights groups, including Amnesty International, have criticized the legislation, but some activists said it is a necessary deterrent against the country's rape culture. The bill was approved by Madagascar's Senate last week and must now be ratified and signed into law by President Andriy Rajolina, whose government proposed the change. Why is Madagascar introducing the law? Great question. Minister Landy Moblachiana Radhasmashmashinshau said the measure was necessary because of dramatic increase in the number of child rape cases. Unbelievable. In January alone, 133 cases of rape of a minor were recorded, and a total of 600 were reported last year. The current penal code has not been enough to curb the perpetrators of these offenses. Yeah, so guess what? Criminals will continue to commit crimes when the risk uh, doesn't outweigh the reward, okay? Like what's going on now in the U.S. where like all felony crimes are uh, no bail, released with no bail. Like just go ahead, back on the streets. Make sure you come back for your court date though and uh, behave. <laughs> so anyway, what does the law say? The new law says surgical castration will be... Uh, always be pronounced for those guilty of raping children under the age of 10, while cases of rape against children between the ages of 10 and 13 will be punished by either surgical or chemical castration. So if you go to uh, 10 and below, they'll literally lop you off and turn you into a transgender. And, uh, well, you might as well accept it at that point, you know. And, uh, yeah, so if it's between 10 and 13, then ye, they might lop you or they might chemically castrate you. And rape of minors between 14 and 17 will just get chemical castration. So very interesting how they uh, decided that. Offenders will face harsher sentences of up to life in prison. Good. Absolutely. Children are the ones that should be protected, and anyone who harms them should be destroyed. Bottom line. California, I'm pretty sure you can solicit a minor, and it's a misdemeanor. Like, what the heck? Anyway, Madagascar, congratulations. Well done. Following Nigeria. Idaho bar sparks fury for declaring June heterosexual awesomeness month and giving free beers and a 15% discount to straight men. Hey, happy hour. Let's go. The Old State Saloon. An Idaho bar uh, has opted to counter the LGBTQ Pride Month by cel celebrating Heterosexual Awesomeness Month during the month of June, saying that without them, none of us would be here, which is an absolute fact. It takes sperm and an egg to mix. And if you got two sperms, they don't do anything except die. And same with two eggs. Nothing gets produced. Old State Saloon in Eagle, Idaho, which is just outside of Boise, announced this past Wednesday that each Monday would be Hetero Male Monday. Any man dressed like a heterosexual male will be entitled to a free draft beer, according to a Facebook post from the bar. In a subsequent comment, the bar also said it was seeking applicants to judge if male patrons that come on Mondays have straight enough clothing, who will be paid $15 an hour plus free beer. I mean, sign me up, let's go. Not only that, but any straight couple that comes into the bar on Wednesdays will get a 15% off their tab. Boom! Get in on Monday and Wednesday. Get your Thirsty Thursday ready. Facebook posts got a mix of reactions, of course, with some claiming that the bar is bigoted against LGBTQ people and others commending the bar owners for doing something so bold. Yeah, so what happens if you're a gay bar and a, a straight guy walks in? They're literally like piranhas to blood. They're going to attack that and try and be like, I got them, I got them, I got a straight one. Like, that's the whole thing. Their whole culture is all about, like, entrapping and turning uh, heterosexual into uh, these marginalized uh, transsexuals, whatever. Anyway, any man who decides to come into the Old State Saloon on Monday were possibly in the closet. Whoever wrote this post is so deep in the closet they're having adventures in Narnia with Liberace and Mercury. Yeah, absolutely. So, well done there. Go ahead, stand up for what you believe in, whether it's uh, against the narrative or not, but just stand up for what you believe in. And if you get proven wrong, then accept your defeat. Police officer 29, who was repeatedly stabbed during an attack at an anti-Islam rally in Germany, has died, and we'll pray for his soul. Unfortunately, uh, a psychopath Muslim felt that uh, you shouldn't be entitled to your own opinion and decided that he was going to murder someone who is uh, denouncing Islam as a false religion. And there you have it. So we'll pray for that individual if you'd like to check it out. Previous episode on Friday. Gunman who shot two NYPD cops revealed to be a migrant who recently crossed into U.S. via Eagle Pass, sources say. All right, so if you guys are under a rock and don't know what's going on, a couple of police officers were shot in New York City and died. 
And uh, what happened? A 19-year-old Venezuelan migrant, early Monday, uh, they tried to stop him. He was riding a motorized scooter. With one of the injured officers rendering aid to his partner since he was more concerned about him. The officers uh, had tried to pull over the teen, identified as Bernardo Castro Mata, after spotting him driving the wrong way down the street, 89th Street and 23rd Avenue, and almost about 1.40 a.m. Yeah. So they tried to pull this dude over, and he fled, and guess what? He murdered them, because he's a migrant scumbag. And he had nothing uh, to declare as he crossed the border. Have you been in jail before? Shouldn't that be a question? I bet you he was. Third strike trans rape suspect prompts rebellion against California law after attack in women's prison. Yeah, so apparently if you are a dude and uh, you say, I'm a woman, then they'll put you in prison with women. And uh, what better place for a rapist to be with a penis, a place with a bunch of vaginas? Tremaine Treyman, Tremaine Dion Carroll transferred out of women's prison after being indicted on two rape counts. Good lord. Transgender identified California convict with a lengthy record of criminal violence has been transferred out of women's correctional facility and back to men's after being indicted for rape. Tremaine, Tremaine, I don't know why they have that different alliteration there. Anyway, is a carcerated biological male who identifies as a woman and faces two charges of forcible rape and one of dissuading a witness from testifying. So what is he? Is he a lesbian? Like, I don't understand. Is he a lesbian who uh, doesn't make any sense? It's a lie. He's a liar. One of the alleged victims on January 30th's incident is a bi biological female identified as Jane Doe in the court documents who said Carol attacked her in the shower at the California Central Women's Facility and raped her. The complaint also mentions another unidentified victim. Carol has since been transferred to Kern Valley State Princeton male-only facility in Delano, online record show. Yeah, so there is the uh, individual. You can tell, very, very beautiful woman uh, right there. Uh, should have definitely been in a woman's prison. Anyway, previous to SB 132, biological males inmates were allowed to, on a case-by-case -case basis, individualized basis, be placed in women's facilities, but not if they had, but not if they hadn't had surgery, and it wasn't always very individualized. What the bill did, what SB 132 did, is took this away all the safeguarding. Yeah. So before it was like if you have lopped and chopped your penis off, then you are, you know, committed to being a woman. So go ahead, you can go ahead and hang out with these women because you can't penetrate them now. Uh, this guy was just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm totally a chick. And as soon as he gets there, he just starts raping women. So good job, California. Gavin Newsom, you're a champion of losers. Christian lifeguard sues L.A. County Fire Department over LGBT pride flag mandate. So uh, the California came out and said you must fly the flag in June from everything that has a, a pole on it, I guess. And uh, this guy's like, I'm a Christian. I'm a staunch Christian. I don't want to do anything with regards to this. And then he eventually capitulated and said, all right, fine, you can fly it there, but I'm not touching it. I'm not raising the flag. And they were like, oh, yeah? Well, guess what? You sure are because uh, guess what? You are an L.A. County employee. That's the only thing that matters. Your religious beliefs do not matter. So uh, he obviously uh, saw that as discrimination, and he's taking them to court. And he'll likely win if that's a fact. For a devout Christian to ask for an accommodation not to have to personally raise the flag is such an easy accommodation, such a simple solution. Just have someone else raise the flag. Devout Christians need to have protections in place. There needs to be strong precedent in place protecting them, and the law already provides that protection. So, follow the law. You are done, California. What else? Can transgender women have a period? Of course they can. They can do whatever they want. Trans women do not experience typical menstrual periods. However, they may experience physical and emotional symptoms similar to premenstrual syndrome and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Transgender women may undergo gender-affirming treatments such as hormone therapy. As a side effect of hormone therapy, they may experience symptoms similar to those of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, which, you know, you try and say that to a woman, you're having PMS, are you? So I wonder if they agree and react the same way. Or premenstrual dysphoric disorder. That sounds more likely because they're mentally uh, handicapped and they can't understand how they were fitted with the improper body when their feelings are different. I have no idea. Well, uh, how are they doing it? Well, mentally ill men claiming to be women are inserting frozen tomato paste into themselves to mimic period. I'm so sick of pretending like these people are normal. So yeah, you can get these little tomato pasters. This is just zoom in on this. 
Yeah, and they'll go ahead and put these in their rectums. And then, uh, yeah, I guess they'll squeeze like they're, they're using the washroom. And then, boom, out comes uh, some period blood to really affirm their, um, their femininity. What's more feminine than, you know, tomato sauce coming out your backside? Anyway, there you have it, people. It's a sick world. It's June month, so uh, maybe China can help them out. Chinese tomatoes from Xinjiang arrives in Italia, it's Italy, and the farmers are like, ah, this cheap Chinese tomato paste. Well, guess what, China? If Italy doesn't want it, California certainly does. Divert those boats over to California. There's at least 0.1% of the population that will buy all of your tomato paste. Anyway, June month, people, if you want to stay safe and you don't want to be indoctrinated or influenced, then uh, stay inside your house for the entire month. Go ahead and get some groceries delivered. Uh, get a Netflix uh, account or something like that and enjoy your time with your family. Because if you go out there, then you don't know what's going to happen, okay? we At the beginning of the show, we saw some crazy stuff, okay? And at the end, we saw some crazy stuff. So these people are crazy. And that's all there is to it. They want to be free. They want to be loud and proud about their sexuality. Nothing else. That's all. Their sexual desires is what's on display. That's what they identify with. And, I mean, what could go wrong with that, people? Anyway, Sigma Tiger, signing out. <laughs>